Georgia Fortunato. I'm Bethany. I'm Kristen. I'm Tracy. I'm Rita. I'm Miriam. I'm Carrie. I'm Ian. I am Lisa. Kim Hamilton. And Laura Hirsch. Megan Graham. Grace Diaz. Lee Gaspar. Shilpa Knight. Zalda Collins. Donna Preet Gong. Amanda Simino. Mary Reynolds. Sue Turkheim. Brenda Borgard. This is my partner. Kristen Michelena. Jennifer Vecchio. I am Miriam Shalcross Smith. And I am Amy Shalcross Vogel. And we're mother and daughter in business. I am a woman. Hear me roll. In numbers too big. To Amy Shalcross Smith, known to most as Dr. Daycare. And I would like to welcome you to my mentoring program designed to educating our community on issues facing working women and young women. I'll be speaking to our guests in the area of art, scientists, education, law, politics, medicine, retail, military, and of course, all about women's business and also women's future business leaders. The goal of the show will be to provide information that comes from personal experience of our guests and to pass the own information on to our daughters nieces, neighbors, family, and friends. Much of the content will relate to the journeys of the speakers in what they did and how they sold those Girl Scout cookies, what they learned through the process, and what they wish they knew before they began selling cookies and also became a Girl Scout, and also a little bit of school, too. Since women-owned business is the fastest-growing sector in our economy, our guests will close with a song today with the rest of the troupe, which will be absolutely wonderful. So we'll be taking a little bit of break. Today, my three guests are Michaela Silcox, Olivia Tracy, and Kiara Scanlon. Welcome. 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 Thank you. Thank you. This is Troop 274, Girl Scout Troop 274 from Warwick, Rhode Island. Now, Rhode Island's a very little state. We know it's the littlest one, correct? Yes. yes. You all came from Warwick in a storm and you made it? Yeah. yeah. Thumbs up. Thumbs up to all those people who got you here today. Come on, give me thumbs up. There you go. Okay, great. So we're going to talk a little bit about Girl Scouts. We're going to talk a little bit about cookie sales. We're going to talk a little bit about how I became a Girl Scout. And we're going to talk a little bit about a field trip because I heard something about bees on a um, campfire. So I'm very interested in hearing a little bit about that. But let's first begin, begin by asking you, why did you become a Girl Scout? I became a Girl Scout because my mom, she signed, she signed me up for Girl Scouts. And I was shy at first when I came in, and she was there the whole time, and I really began to enjoy it. So for your mom's support, she suggested that you join Girl Scouts. Of course, you listened to your mom, correct? Yes. Very good. And now you find your shyness is kind of going away? Yes, I feel I've grown a new confidence. That's fantastic. You're getting new confidence, absolutely. And why did you join Girl Scouts, Olivia? Um, my mom had signed me up because she was a Girl Scout when she was a kid, and she became the troop leader of our troop. We originally had our meetings mm -hmm. at John Brown Francis School. Okay. Um, and then we had a very small troop, only six people, and now we've grown to four or five different troop wow. age divisions with over 40 girls. Oh my gosh, that's quite an expansion, isn't it? Yeah. So the word must be out that your troop is a troop to go to. So you must be doing fun things, I bet, right? Yeah. They call us a super troop sometimes. Super troop. What a tag that is. Super troop. I like that. I totally do. And how long have you been a Girl Scout, Olivia? I've been a Girl Scout for six years. This is my seventh year. And Michaela, how long have you been a Girl Scout? For five years. This is my sixth year. Fantastic. And Kiara, how long have you been a Girl Scout? Two to three years. Two to three years. And tell me how you got involved. Well, my friend Fiona was doing Girl Scouts, and she told me to join because it was really fun and that you could do good things. So I joined, and then I really enjoyed doing good things and helping people, and I loved earning all the badges. So that's girlfriends for you. They kind of lead you in the right direction, yeah. too, don't they? Yeah. you gotta, you got to love, the love a girlfriend. They can tell you hey, why don't you join? This could be a lot of fun and we all could do this together. Now, I was seeing you all got some badges on. So tell me what badge was the funnest to get? I want to start off with you, Kayla? Well, I enjoyed the woodworking badge. And what was that like? I thought it was a nice experience. We got to learn how to hammer in nails and use, we used a saw, we used a level, and at the end we made our own candy dispensers. Wow, that's absolutely really wood woodworking. The saw, the hammer, 
and then you came out with the product afterwards? Yes. That's so. pretty cool. Do you still have it? Yes. That's something you want to say forever. You can say to your daughter someday, maybe if you have a daughter, say, look at what I made at Girl Scouts. See if they get that woodworking badge. And how about you, Olivia? What is your favorite badge? My favorite badge was the archery badge. We earned it when we were on a camping trip. And um, you to earn it, you had to learn how the safety rules, um, what the parts of the bow and arrow were called, and how to shoot a bow and arrow. Wow. How did you, did you get the target? Yeah. Good for you. I don't know if I could do that. That's pretty cool. And how about you? What was your favorite badge and um, why? I like the one where we rode the horses. Like we went to New York and we rode horses and then we got a badge for it and I really enjoyed it. Wow, you went to New York to ride horses? Yeah. I can see why you're called the Super Troop. Troop 274. I can see you. Everyone knows the fun things that you're all doing. you got to hug your leaders when you see them. They're doing a very, very good job. Now, one thing I want to tell you, every year, every year, for the last seven or eight years, I get this phone call, usually around February, and it's a true bleeder, because I live in Lincoln, and she calls me every year at the same time, and her daughter's selling cookies. And I order two cases of thank you cookies. And what I do is I give it to all my teachers, and I say thank you. I figure that's a good way to support the Girl Scouts and also say thank you to my teachers and to my directors of my facility. And then in March, businesses get together and they go to the state house for to talk to some of the representatives and senators. And I take the other ca the other case of cookies and I put the senators and representatives' names on it and I give them uh, cookies too and say thank you. And I can't believe t and this has been going on for a very long time, probably since 2008. And I would say, I can't tell you how many representatives and senators will say to me, you're the Girl Scout lady, you're the Girl Scout lady, you know? So anyhow, those thank you cookies from um, the Girl Scouts go a very long way. It's just a beautiful gift. It's a beautiful gift. It also supports the Girl Scouts. So I would not have those, those thank you cookies in my office unless that mom called for that Girl Scout. And she does delivery, and I meet her every year. She's growing up as time goes on. I think she's in like in middle school now. But I need to tell you, do you all sell cookies? Yes. yes. Okay, so you do that. So I want to tell you, do you have a goal you have to meet? Yes. yes. Okay, so do you have the goal in your head? Yes. yes. Okay, so I want to hear your goal, and then I want to find out how you sell those cookies. That's how I buy my two cases every year, is their mom calls, and the Girl Scout gets involved after that, and she takes off the whole order and gets it right to my door, which is fantastic, drops it right off my door. So tell me, what is your goal for selling cookies? Well, my goal for selling cookies is to sell 2,000 cookies, but I also have a sister, so there's two of us. We sell cookies. Well, we get our most sales from rolling booths. It's where we take cookies, we put it on a wagon, and we'll go door to door, and we'll sell the cookies. And, and then we can also eat, go to a booth sale where we're set up at a store or maybe a parking lot, and we sell cookies. I, I have a question. Are you selling 2,000 cookies or are you selling 2,000 packages of cookies? 2,000 packages I of cookies. I knew that, but I just kept wanted to make sure people heard that. 2,000 packages of cookies is your goal for this year. We have a troop goal of 5,000 cookies. Wow, wow, that's amazing. That is fantastic. How about you? Do you have a goal for how many cookies you're going to sell? Um, I also am trying to sell 2,000 cookies, but I'm selling with my sister. And Teaming up is important. I agree, yeah. teaming up. Just like this Girl Scout, she teams up with her mom, which is fantastic, you know? We have checkpoints for our goals. So we have a 250 box checkpoint, a 500 box checkpoint, a 750 box che checkpoint, and a 1,000 box checkpoint to um, lead up to our 2,000 boxes. And the prize wow. for selling 2,000 boxes is a two-person tent and a sleeping bag. Wow, wow. What would you go last year, Olivia? Um, it was, I think it was 350 boxes. Wow, wow. It's a lot of cookies. And how about you, Kara? How are you? How many boxes are you gonna I'm have gonna your goal to sell this I'm year? I'm gonna try to sell a thousand because I really wanna try to re beat the goal I had by 500 last year. I, I sold. 500 boxes last year and I wanted to sell more this year and 
I'm gonna um, try to come up with ways to make people come by like making up songs. So you got an idea on how you're gonna sell more boxes, yeah. huh? That's fantastic. The other thing is too, I always hear in the news every year like the Girl Scout cookies have gone up a quarter or the Girl Scout cookies go up to 50 cents and they kind of make news out of it every, every kind of winter. I don't care if they go up to $10 a package, it is worth every penny every single penny when you know exactly what it's going to. So to have those goals is absolutely amazing. Now, I'll tell you mine last, but I want to know what is your favorite Girl Scout cookie to eat? I like the um, Thin Mints and the Caramel Delights. Caramel Delights, I like that. Those, yes. How about you, Olivia? My favorite cookies are the lemonade cookies. Okay, yeah. Michaela? My favorite cookies are the shortbreads of the peanut butter patties. Okay, you want to guess what my favorite one is? Anyone want to guess? Thanks, no, a thanks a lot. What? Thanks a lot. No, oh, thanks a lot to the cookies I buy to give you, but the um, ones I like to eat. The caramel delight. No. Thin mints. Thin mints, right on. <laughs> yeah. I hope God I buy one package of those and bring them home because they are so delicious. They are so delicious. So congratulations, and I'm sure with all the support of your family and all the support of your friends and your girlfriends and your troop leaders, I'm sure you'll make your goals. And call me, call me or text me or email me. I'll buy some cookies. Absolutely. I'll just put an extra box in my staff's um, my staff's mailboxes. Absolutely. Cause it's a very, very, very good um, process to do for Girl Scouts. It's going to really good things. Now I hear you take field trips and you go on camping. Okay, so I heard a little bit about bees, because I have a bee story, but I want to hear all about your bee story. When you went camping one day, Olivia? So we were going through a hike through the woods at Camp Cookie. Good old Camp Cookie, And yeah. we were almost back to the campsite when we saw a stone wall that was in our path. So we went over the stone wall, and the person in front of me, she had stepped on a beehive and Ooh. angered them. And then I stepped on it, and I got six stings. Um, I got a double sting on my temple and a bunch of bees in my hair. And we were all running back to the campsite, crying. Um, and when we got there, there was a lake. So we went into the lake with our clothing on to get out the beehives. Oh, that's a good idea. I mean, bee stings. Yeah, get the bee stings, absolutely. A little bit refreshing, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Now, is anyone allergic to bees who got stung? No. Oh, thank God. That's absolutely wonderful. I'll tell you my bee story quick. Twelve years ago, I was in South Africa because I travel all over the world. And I've been to 63 countries. I went to Africa, Tanzania, and I was in um, the safari, on a safari, in my Jeep that was taking me and a few of my friends around um, kind of collided with killer bees. So my friend was, everybody in the Jeep was covered with thousands of killer bees all over their body. As you can see, I'm having this conversation with you today, so nothing happened, no one died or anything. But the good news is there's two swarms of bees, one with the queen and all her soldiers, and then you have the helpers over here. The queen and her soldiers were over here ahead of the worker bees, and because we hit the swarm of worker bees, the worker bees will never, never, never sting unless you disrupt the queen. So we were very lucky that we hit the worker bees instead of the queen and her soldiers. So I know that experience of getting stung by bees, so it's not so fun, is it? It's kind of scary. But I bet you that refreshing water afterwards felt really good. I'm glad to hear no one was allergic. That's huge. What other um, field trips have you taken or camping sites? Anyone else want to share a story? Um, I went camping with my friend Layla, and we were... Um, and then it just started flooding and the rain was all on the ground and then we had to walk through the mud and I fell in a puddle. <laughs> you all have some really good stories here. A lot can happen to camping. It's always how it comes out at the very end because like you're smiling telling the story. That's pretty cool, huh? How about you? Do you have one you want to share for camping? One, well, one of our most recent trips, mm -hmm. we went to Pine Grove, New York, mm -hmm. a dude ranch. So we were we took the, a bus ride. It was quite a long ride. I bet you it was. And we were there. They had, we went horseback riding, archery, a big bounce pillow. And even at one point, it started snowing. Wow, wow. It sounds like you're trouble with a lot of interesting things. Is it all around getting a badge? Mm -hmm. Is it all within the criteria of getting a new badge? Most of the yeah. time, yes. Yeah, yeah. 
How about another um, field trip you took and uh, you um, want to bring up? We went to a corn maze oh, and yeah. um, I almost got lost. Okay. Someone found you, huh? Yeah, yeah. My, my brother had to help me find the way out. Pretty cool, yeah. We also went to Boston on a train and earned our digital image badge at a Microsoft workshop. And um, we went to Pizzeria Uno and then Pinkberry after. Wow. Very, very active troop. I'm telling you, you got to hug your leaders. you got to hug your leaders because they're doing an extraordinary um, job with everything they're doing for you all. Now, I have a question. On any of your camping trips, have you ever made s'mores? Yes. What s'mores? Tell me. Who wants to volunteer what s'mores are? S'mores? You, you got a stick. Got a stick. Put a marshmallow on it. Marshmallow roast, on it. Roast it over a fire. Yes. And put it between chocolate and graham crackers. Yeah. You could even put it between two thanks a lot. Oh my gosh, that's and a big promotion for cookies. I'm impressed. Yes, I'm going to try that next time. Yeah. And you, and, you make, and you put it all together and you make a s'more. A s'more. My very, very, very first s'more was when I was a Girl Scout way back in the 60s. And I never had one. I went to Camp Cookie and we made my very first s'more. And I've never stopped eating them since. They're actually just brings everyone together and a conversation and cooking it and I haven't met anyone who doesn't like a s'more. Do you know anyone who does like a s'more? No. Yes. Oh, you do? Who? There's this girl in our school who hates chocolate. Okay. And All right. she doesn't like graham crackers either, so she just eats the marshmallow. Okay, so she's a part of it. She eats the toasted yeah. marshmallow. Okay. She improvises. Is there anything else you want to talk to? Tell me about cookies and your goals with cookies and selling. Anything you want? Any story you want to tell me about it? Um, last year, when it was freezing cold, we were selling at a booth sale. And we were standing on top of a giant mound of snow wearing a cookie box costume uh -huh. and ask, yelling out for people to buy cookies from us. I'll tell you, you are definitely future business leaders. I'll tell you, take all these skills that you're learning as Girl Scouts and someday you can actually take them if you choose to to the corporate world. I'm telling you, to get dressed up as a cookie and work would be actually fun. I bet you could sell a lot more cookies. Someday when you're out there and you have daughters, maybe you could do that for them. This is fantastic. How do you sell your cookies? Do you make phone calls? Do you text? Do you email? Do you, how do you do it? Besides going with this group, how do you do it individually? Well, sometimes we'll take, um, go around, walk around in my school. Okay, so you walk the and neighborhoods. Take, and in my school, we can take orders from certain and teachers and right. during when we ha if we have free time and also we can uh, Facebook and we got all Facebook post. so you're using social media fantastic yeah how about you how do you sell your cookies um I send out a flyer which has our name on it and address and all the types of cookies and I give them to people so that they can check it off and return it to me with the money for to buy their cookies. Uh -huh. I also go out door to door with my sister. You do? Okay, I'm glad to hear your sister because I always want you to buddy up. Never go door to door by yourself. I'm sure your leaders taught you that and your parents taught you that. Okay, just had to say that. Um, and I go door to door with my sister and we probably sell 30 cookie boxes just by doing that. Oh, you're very dedicated, you all. And how would you, what way do you sell? What's your best way to um, sell? I would take a bag and I'd fill it up with cook boxes of cookies and me and my grandma would go around going door to door to get it. And then after that, I got a badge that said I froze my cookies off. And it had a picture of a girl, a girl that was freezing and with um, cookies on the bottom. You're all future marketers. This is pretty good. Rebecca, I'm gonna tell my marketing director, Rebecca, move over. She can hire you in the future. You all have these fantastic ideas, and they work, don't they? And I, I'm hearing they're fun, aren't they? Yes. Yes, that's absolutely. Now, I asked you earlier what was the most easiest and fun badge to get. How about a little bit more difficult badge to get? You wouldn't want to do this badge over again. Do you have one of those? Carol? I, I like doing all my badges. They were all fun. They were all fun. That's nice to hear. Olivia? I didn't like doing the first stage badge, first aid badge because I just don't like all that blood and it's not fun. So let me guess, you're not going to be a future nurse or doctor? No. Or, okay, got it. Me, me. No. How about you? I'm with Olivia, our first date. 
first aid was so not the best favorite one. But you did it, right? And you got it. Yeah. So you persevered, you went forward, you got it, and you made it happen. Great. So my other question is, if you had to say one word about your troop leader, what would you say? I, I have lots of words I could say about your troop leader. She seems so amazing. She's so committed. I'm not going to use up all your words, but what would you say about your troop leader? I say she's there. Will we have a couple troop leaders? Okay, so tell me. Let's try one. Who's the first one you want to talk about? Um, my mom. Your mom. Okay, let's talk about your mom. I would say she's dedicated to being a troop leader. Her mom is what a couple of words you want to say about her mom as a troop leader. Um, her mom is very crafty. Crafty. I like that. Kara, what about her mom? Um, she's very, f she's always happy and has a smile on her face. Wow, that's pretty cool. What a great leader. And your second leader is, I know her. Miss Bethany. Miss Bethany. And tell me a couple of words about Miss Bethany. I think she's courageous. Courageous. Uh, wow. Wow. I totally agree. All these leaders are doing an amazing job. How about you? This is your mom. So you can say more than one or two or three, okay? She's crazy. Crazy. <laughs> And in the morning, if you wake her up too early, she's grumpy. Grumpy. I love it. This is going to be a bestseller. This is one of my best shows. <laughs> one more word. What, um, mom? Mom leader? Fun. 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 How about you? Um, she's very determined. Determined. And all the leaders are kind of crazy because when we went to the dude ranch, there was this swing and this guy was giving us a tour. There was like the spinning thing, and they all came running up and started spinning on it. And the guy's like, who's the kids here? <laughs> there you go. So what I'm hearing is your leaders love to have fun. Yes. And they have to love to have fun with you. We're going to take a little bit of a change over here. We're going to have the rest of your troop, 274, come and sing a song. How's that sound? Fun. Let's do it. I'd like to introduce to you Warwick Girl Scout Troop 274. Hi, my name is Mackenzie. Hi, my name is Chloe. Hi, my name is Brianna. Hi, my name is Annabelle. Hi, my name is Layla. Hi, my name is Sophia. Oh, hi, my name is Annalise. <laughs> Welcome to Women's Business. Ready for the song? One, two, three. Sing. Make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver and the other's gold. A circle's round, it has no end. That's how long I want to be your friend. I have a hand and you have another. We put them together and we have each other. And here we have our future business leaders. Let's give them a hand. <laughs> clap for yourself. Clap, clap, clap. Thank you. each other.